Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. Right here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. Still, still watching what's left over of this Colorado storm system. It's retrograding back to the west, moving down from New Mexico into southern Utah, Arizona, eventually even affecting parts of southern California. Well, it's going to sit and spin for several days in that area and wobble back and forth, and it will throw waves of snow through southern Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and also southwest Colorado. So we'll look at that coming up. Um, but when is the next storm system? We talked about this this morning. Um, for the central and northern Rockies, it's going to be a pretty dry, quiet period. So when is the next storm? 321, 22, 23, and 24 for the Tetons, the Wasatch, Idaho, Montana, and even Colorado. Although, like I said, parts of southwest Colorado will see some waves of snow from that cutoff low. But even Revelstoke, interior BC, sunshine, late 320, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And there could be some heavy snow accumulations with this. In the northeast, my forecast for this has changed based on the storm track shifting late in the period. So I'm only looking at light snow accumulations now for the northeast. As of right now, I don't have anything big on the horizon. So we'll look at that coming up. All right, over to water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon. Um, so heading into the weekend, this is the way things are shaking out. There's our low pressure that once was right over here. It has retrograded back, and that's where it's going to sit and spin in this area and affect that Four Corners Desert Southwest area for several days. But central and northern Rockies remain dry for quite some time with this high pressure ridge up here. And that's what's going to have the main influence. But there's an area of low pressure back here that will be part of that pattern shift, 320, 21, 22, 23, and 24, that will bring a powerful jet in to the west. So speaking of the jet, here it is by close of day today. You've got your closed cutoff low retrograding back. You've got some high pressure ridging up in the Pacific Northwest in BC. All right, here we go. Tomorrow, there's 317. 318, the low is still there sitting and spinning. And then by 320, here come the changes. So the northern branch is going to buckle. We're going to bring in some energy from the southern branch. That'll deliver a storm system in. There it is, 321, 22, 23, and 24. You can see the trough right there over the Intermountain West. So that'll set us up pretty nicely. All right, here's the uh, forecast radar by 530 and satellite by 530 today. You can see where that cutoff low is. Here's 316, throwing waves of moisture back. Through a number of places, there's 318. It's still there, um, a little bit weaker, but it's still there on 319, 320. And then we start to see our next storm system come in from the Pacific Northwest, dive down out of Canada, bring in the southern branch of the jet, and we start to see a larger storm take shape right there on 323 and 324. All right, latest numbers. Here they go. Rest of today into tomorrow. Um, the snow is in southern Colorado, New Mexico, southern Utah, and Arizona. Everybody else, central to northern Rockies and to the BC area in the Pacific Northwest, high and dry. Next time period, 317 through 319, pretty much the same thing. Leftover snow, southern Utah, Arizona, um, southern Colorado, and also New Mexico. And then we finally see the pattern shift here on or after 320. Um, look at the big snow up in parts of BC, um, also sunshine. So those numbers have held from this morning's update. Looking at uh, some nice numbers through Idaho, Montana, the Tetons, the Wasatch, and in Colorado, and some snow for the Sierra. Again, all that happens as that, as that energy dives south with that pattern shift. Okay, let's go to the northeast, and quite a change here. This morning, I was showing a big belt of heavy snow. That is no longer the case based on the latest storm track that I'm seeing, and all we're left with is some light snow accumulation during this time period. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update, guys. Thanks for tuning in here, and have a great weekend.